So let's check out the poly, which is a polyphonic uh, synthesizer. Uh, this is the new version. You can find it under Creative Extensions. It's a free pack you can download. Let's load Poly. This is a new version of the Max for Live Essentials uh, Poly. Uh, it's just a few upgrades, uh, kind of better, more unified look with the modern uh, Ableton 10. And it's a really great simple synthesizer that also comes with a bunch of presets. So you can check them out. But let's do an overview of this awesome synthesizer you get for free just for having Ableton 10 suite. So here we have the display. Ignore the display because something is up with it. If I play a note, it just gets stuck there. So for you, it's probably displayed the waveform very nicely. For me, something with the screen recording or something is off. So right here we have, a, a again, just like the bass instrument we talked about in another video, we have a mixer style oscillator. So here I can mix between a saw, uh, let's listen to the saw, and a pulse or a square. And I can mix the two to create kind of a, a, a combination of both. Here I have a sub oscillator, just an octave below, and a noise generator. Excellent. Now, uh, the square wave, of course, we can, the pulse, we can change the pulse width. For the saw, we have cross modulation, which can be a bit extreme. Here we can change the waveform of the sub from a saw to a sine. And the color of the noise, essentially a filter built in. Uh, here we have a built-in uh, ring modulator and a frequency shifter, or the frequency, sorry, the frequency of the ring uh, modulator. Nice, and what's the internal uh, oscillator that the ring modulator is working by? Here we have a saw or a sign. You can choose whichever. You can create some cool uh, amplitude modulation effects here. Uh, we can also switch and change the tuning of each oscillator, which is cool, because you can even change it in sense to create a unison effect, or in octave. I'm sorry, or in semitones. Nice, here we have the LFO, which we'll talk about in a second, once we cover the matrix. And here we have two filters. One is high pass, low pass, resonance. And here is the filter envelope, or just another envelope that we can use. And right now it is mapped to modulate the low pass filter. We hear that wow sound for the filter closing. Uh, we can also send the sub to the filter. So if I turn up the sub, let me play higher. I know it's not going through the filters, but I can pass it through the filters from right here. And I can even loop the envelope. So you do need to take the sustain down. Let's turn down the sub. Let's loop it. Now we can hear the envelope loops basically go and attack decay release stages and skip the sustain. Uh, nice. Let's say uh, come back to the modulator section in a second. Here we have a built-in chorus effect, kind of uh, inspired by the Juno chorus. So it goes from less uh, least detuned to the most detuned. And here we can randomize the pan of each uh, new note kind of create a more a wider sound. Pitch band range, if you use the pitch band wheel. By default it's five, which is weird, should be two, kind of like a guitar pitch band. And... Nice, now here we have the glide, let's turn it on. Let's give it a... That's very cool. Uh, the voicing itself, if it's unison, poly, or mono, and here we can decide the amount of uh, unison spreading or unison detuning. Nice. And we can even um, pitch bend all the oscillators or just the saw. We can create some temporary inharmonics. Here we got the volume envelope. 
Nice. Now here in the middle, we have the modulation section. So we can take the LFO, the filter envelope, or the amp envelope, and send it to all these uh, destinations. So for example, let's take the LFO and route it to the low pass filter. We can also synchronize it. We can add a fade in. So it will slowly, gradually start to wobble. And we can even turn off the retrig so it's a free running LFO and we're just grabbing it as. Right, whenever we play it, we grab the uh, LFO and we have a bunch of different waveforms, including sample and hold and some randoms. So you can add some randomization, let's say. And that's with the glide, sounds very cool. Nice, we can take the filter envelope and let's play, maybe apply it to the pulse width. Nice, and even the amp envelope to anything you want, but not the volume because it's by default. And you can't uh, really control the uh, LFO frequency, but you can do it with the filter envelope. I see we have the MIDI tab. Here you can uh, map some things. Not you see a lot of things are disabled, uh, but the key, so key tracking to the uh, filter, velocity to the filter. So if we hit stronger, it's actually change the filter cutoff. And after touch, which I don't have here, also to the low pass filter or to the frequency of the LFO, which can you can do some really cool stuff. And here is the global output volume of poly so poly is an awesome kind of inspired by juno type of scenes or to make all these kind of brassy uh, digital sounds comes with a lot of great presets it's a somewhat overlooked uh, synthesizer because it's free it's hidden in the creative extensions pack but check it out you can create some really nice fat sounds here and it does have polyphonic glide, which we unfortunately still don't have in the wavetable. So it can give you more of that future gliding chords uh, type of vibe. So that's the poly creative extensions. Uh, hope you check it out, explore it. Let me know your thoughts. And that's it. Catch you next time.